Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Meidong Mighty Rock E7. This is a parent company that also owns Cohen, which produces some pretty interesting, relatively affordable hi-fi speakers as well as Bluetooth speakers and headphones. Now the E7 are a pair of active noise canceling headsets, which sells for about $67, which makes it fair, I would say. Comes in a number of different colors. We're checking out the red version today. In the packaging, aside from the earphones, we have an auxiliary cable if you don't want to use wireless Bluetooth. There's also a micro USB for charging, takes about 2.5 hours to charge. The battery will last up to 30 hours on a single charge, which is actually very good. It's longer than the majority of the competition, and it will last for over 16 hours if you have both ANC and Bluetooth turned on. There's a built-in microphone for answering phone calls once paired with an iOS or Android device, and it does have a frequency range of 20 to 20,000 hertz, which is also fairly average for headphones of this price range. So taking a closer look at the design first, again, it comes in three different colors. It comes in black, red, as well as a white slash gold model. So pretty unconventional colors. Construction is mostly made out of plastic. So even though they are pretty large in terms of overall size, they're definitely over year style headphones or studio style, but they are relatively lightweight because they aren't made out of, let's say metal or aluminum. With that being said, the points which are reinforced, including the neck band, which you'll be consistently pulling up and down are made out of metal. So there are kind of metal axes to make it feel more sturdy over long-term use. The padding here is made out of protein leather and it feels extremely soft and comfortable, doesn't accumulate that much heat either, at least in my testing. And the headband is made out of the same material. It's pretty generously padded as well. So you have plenty of cushion for a comfortable experience. On the bottom here, we have micro USB for charging, status ind indicator light, microphone, as well as a switch to physically turn it on onto Bluetooth mode or onto ANC mode. Now these are very flexible headphones as well. What I mean by that is like the hinge here is extremely easy to move and rotate. Uh, in fact, it's quite loose. If you kind of just shake it and rattle it around, it easily kind of moves around. There's not too much give or resistance to this movement. Even though this makes the build feel a little more suspect, it does mean that the resulting wearing experience is very comfortable because it can tilt and flex at all sorts of angles. So as a quick size comparison, first of all, here is the Blue Dio Turbine T2s, and the kind of Turbine series are very popular, I would say. They are a big competitor to Cohen in general. They're both about the same. They're both pretty large over-ear style uh, headphones, which covers your ears on the inside, as opposed to being on-ear, for instance. But the Blue Dio's are significantly heftier because of the use of more uh, metal and aluminum compared to these, which are more lightweight. Moving into audio quality and performance, these are solid. They have more bass than what I was expecting. So there's quite a bit of punch in the lower frequencies. If you're listening to EDM, you're watching maybe some action films, it definitely comes across as prominent, but it's not overpowering either. Mids and highs are also quite clean, even though the highs maybe could have a little bit more detail. The ANC function works well enough. I would say that it blocks out probably around 85% of ambient noise. It only works with lower frequencies though, so the sound of engines, motors, and cars will be blocked out. But if you have people talking, uh, you can still kind of hear that. With that being said, because of the over-ear design, they do have a tendency to naturally isolate noise just because you have your ears already covered up inside of these really soft cushions. With that being said, they might not be you know, the best when it comes to kind of audio latency. What I mean by that is if you play and pause the track very quickly, sometimes there's gonna be a split second delay. In addition, you may notice a split uh, kind of hiss or a distortion at the end after you pause the sound, there's gonna be a bit of a digital noise, but then it fades out. So it's not quite as you know audiophile grade or high res grade as again more expensive headsets. The controls here in terms of playing pause and music and skipping tracks do work fairly well, but they are a little bit flush with the surface, which means they can occasionally be difficult to make out if you're just sliding your hands around trying to find their location. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Meidong Mighty Rock E7. Again, this is not the company's first pair of Bluetooth headphones. They're experienced and it shows because these are highly comfortable. In fact, one of the most com comfortable pair of ANC headphones that I've ever tested, just because of how thick and generous the kind of protein leather pads here are, and the over your kind of style definitely helps with that. The fact that they're lightweight, the ANC functions really well, it's not too stuffy, it doesn't really you know, cause too much stress on your ears when you're using that mode, it doesn't cause a headache like on some less expensive ANC head headphones that I've tested in the past. In addition, there's a lot of bass, which is great for watching films, movies, 
and for casual music listening. Again, they're not going to be the best quality headphones in the world, but I think they are already very, very strong for a pair that's under $100. Even if it didn't have ANC, the sound itself is already quite balanced and, uh, again, very good in terms of volume output. So you can check out more details about these in the links down below, but for now, that's been our video. Uh, this has been the Maydome Mighty Rock E7 ANC over your headphones.